All right, I'm with Jonas from Jonas and the Massive Attraction, and uh, we are live via Skype. How are you this fine day? Great, thank you, thank you. Thanks for making time for us. So I understand you've been very busy, so thank you for making time for us. You've oh, been no everywhere. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's been a, it's been a pretty crazy summer. We um, are just back uh, from uh, from a five six week European festival tour, and uh, kind of came back and hit the ground running with a few hometown shows, and uh, also working on the next album too. So it's all um, it's all been kind of squeezed into uh, one fun filled summer. But I tell you, um, you know, keeping us busy kind of keeps us out of trouble. So well, you should be out of trouble for a while. I understand you've just announced your fall tour dates in Europe. Yeah, yeah, that just uh, that just came out. Actually, they came out I think about five days ago. Um, you know, when it's it's funny, kind of when you come home from from such a long tour and like saying hi to the family and saying kind of like readjusting to li literally you know three days home, and then you get the next slew of dates lined on the table like that. Um, I tried to hide them from the family for a couple of days, but they, <laughs> they they were leaked on the internet pretty quickly. So yeah, um, you know, everybody's really happy about it. We are. We we love touring. We're one of those bands that just. Um, I I don't know if the word flourish or the term flourish is the right one, but I think we, we we thrive, yeah, thrive best um, when we're traveling, when we're moving around, um, both creatively uh, on stage and you know when we're when we're writing and composing, um, it's uh, it's a little bit more um, of a you know a vast inspiration uh, you know to to pull from and and uh, this is actually the first time we're writing an album on the road as well. Oh wow. Um, yeah, the four the four guys of uh, you know we we've all kind of brought out our own recording devices, um, whether it be our laptops or um, our iPads, and everybody's keeping busy. We we write on the back of the bus or in the hotel rooms too. So um, yeah, it's 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 been a, it's been a lot of fun to uh, to develop an album from the road like that. So you talked about um, you guys thrive with your performance. Your audiences are crazy for you guys. You have crazy fans. They're. they're I, I They're like enthusiastic. To, yes. Crazy in a good way, of course. Enthusiast, enthusiastic is good. I, ha um, I was doing a little searching online, yeah. and I found this on a Facebook <laughs> fan page. Do you oh, yeah. recall? Do you remember that moment? I, 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 there's a lot of those moments. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there, there are. Is there? <laughs> I think this was in Montreal. Those don't, those don't look like my autographs, though. I think that's JS, our bass player. That Are you like sure? Because there's multiple autographs on each woman. Uh, yeah, it could, it could be. It could be. Okay. Well, your fans, uh, I've read a lot, of, a lot of writing by your fans on your fan sites over the last couple of days, and they can't say enough about audience engagement and how you guys seem to really sort of thrive on the audience and engage with the audience and feed off the energy of your fans. Yeah, I'm... You know, we were having this conversation the other day because we're kind of uh, on a technical uh, the side. We, we're trying to um, change our in-ear uh, monitoring system and how we hear the music on the stage. Uh, we're trying to get a, a smaller, more compact system to pull to, to tour around with. And we all had the same reaction when we put in these these earbuds. Um, was that it cuts off the, the volume of the audience and our interaction with the audience. And we've all over the last six months tried different methods and we can't quite seem to get a system that works for us that keeps us engaged with the audience and keeps that same relationship. Um, to the point where I'm actually in negotiations with the company right now developing our own in-ear system because it was so important. And all of us feel the same way on stage. I think um, when you walk away and you haven't been able to hear the audience or you haven't been able to see the audience because the lights are in your eyes or whatever is, um, is stopping you from that connection uh, it seems to really ch uh, bother our band more than I think it's bothered any other band so uh, to answer your question in a very roundabout way yeah uh, that for us is um, is equally as important as the show that we're putting on is what we're getting back from the audience mm -hmm. now you've gotten a huge amount of mileage from your biz big slice album it's just it's gotten rave reviews and the fans love it you mentioned you've got another album coming out you guys have been writing on the road what can we expect well to, to be honest with you we were actually planning on putting it out in october um we we were going to come back and this was going to be this break that we're on this break that we're on back home uh was going to be um to, to be you know uh 
recording and going down to Nashville and LA to wrap up some other stuff that we had to do. And we've actually um, just kind of filled it up with some more writing sessions up here back home, uh, maybe one or two in LA, but we won't be recording at all. We're going to um, actually wait till 2013 to put out uh, the, the next album uh, because we had a pleasant surprise um, when we were on tour in Europe. We got news back home that uh, the Deep End had been uh, released as a single and was getting like picked up top all 15. over the place. Yeah, it hit top 15, right? Yeah. So um, it, was a, it was a really pleasant surprise. And I, I mean, also for me, because I, I do have a real emotional connection to that song. I, I, I love playing it on stage. I loved uh, recording it and writing it. Um, so to, to know that that um, song got legs and, uh, you know, took off a little bit back home meant a lot uh, for us as a band, but also it meant a lot for what our schedule is going to be like. Uh, we no longer uh, are going to put an album out in October. We're going to wait till 2013 because, you know, who knew that two years later we'd still have singles that are, are being played. Yeah, and to, to huge response. So I think your fans recognize the connection you have to that song because there are so many references to it on these fan sites. They love that song. Isn't that nice to hear? That's <laughs> cool. So um, you've been everywhere. We talked about that. Do you have a favorite place in Europe to play? Oh, yeah. I think, um, you know, I, I think that it's kind of, it's, it's hard to say really because it is, when well, we're only going out on, onto our fifth tour and there's a lot of, you know, from one day to the next, we never know what the show's going to be like. We certainly don't have the consistency that we do over here in Canada. Um, but, f you know, we'll play uh, Holland and, and in Amsterdam, we got a chance to, to open for Rock Set. And that was like the Heineken Music Hall, 6,000 people, crazy show, sold out, lots of fun. And then, you know, the next day we played a, a club and there was like 200 people. Um, you know, we headlined a, a show, I think, uh, the day after that, and there was, uh, you know, 300, and then the next day there's like 50. It's so hard to gauge because also, um, you know, Germany and Holland have, kind of, within their own countries, they've got kind of um, uh, smaller uh, territories, and, and they don't really necessarily communicate as much. Um, like in English Canada, you know, our media kind of stretches across the whole country. There they have very centralized media. So you go half an hour away and that town hasn't heard anything about you, even if you got good coverage or whatever. So it's a lot of road work. It's a lot of legwork. But um, it's really hard to say at this point what our favorite place is. I know there's beautiful places that we love Vienna. We love Amsterdam for all sorts of reasons. And we love, uh, you know, we, we really have had a, a blast tour in Germany. But, um, yeah, there's so no, no you... solid one love right now. Of all of the venues you've played, is there one that has eluded you so far? Is there your dream venue, your dream stage? To be honest with you, uh, playing the Heineken Music Hall in in uh, Holland, Amsterdam has been, you know, a real uh, top ten on my bucket list. And the ch chance that we got to, to to play to a sold out crowd there was awesome. The response also has been great. You would think, you know, Jonas and the Massive Attraction opening for Rock Set did necessarily make a lot of sense but um i think people uh, people's response has been great on facebook and uh we really um we really developed something i think with that crowd that night. yeah absolutely so do you find yourself having to sort of give yourself a little pinch like i realize you've been in this industry forever but you guys are so recognizable now and you're just you're breaking the charts so have Dear you have you reached the point that you can finally say we're here Oh, no, I, the, no way. I think that that's what, you know, um, keeps this band going and keeps um, the chemistry uh, and the goals um, kind of oriented in the same direction is that we just, as soon as we stop learning and as soon as we stop feeling like we have, we have to keep moving forward and there's other things that we need to see and other places we need to, to go and stages we need to conquer, then, um, you know, as soon as that becomes not important to us, then I think that, you know, the music would become stagnant. And, and we, I think we all we always feel like, um, you know, growing and learning and pro progressing in the music and the stuff that we're writing is uh, is what keeps a band like this alive. So it's it's great. I mean, it really is. It's a wonderful thing that we get to go out and we get to, uh, you know, play in all these beautiful countries and new places. But um we gotta, we gotta keep, um, keep getting out there, and you know, there's so many other countries we haven't played yet. So, you know, Australia, South America, Russia, 
Japan, all these, all these beautiful uh, other opportunities out there for us. So um, right now, it, it almost feels like it's just the start, really, in many ways. All right. Well, good luck with your tour in Europe. I'm sure it'll be fantastic, as you've been so well received over there, as well as back home. And we look forward to your new album in 2013, if you guys ever get a break and have a chance to record. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Jeff. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.